The next troubleshooting area we're going to touch on is during the exposure process. Now the things we're going to touch on and the most common problems during this process is your film not being dark enough, so your positive actually not blocking out the light from reaching the emulsified screen, uh, not enough positive contact or pressure so light works its way around the film. That means when your film is not pressly tight against the screen mesh, and then underexposure and overexposure. If you don't have a very good printer, your films are probably going to come out looking like this. If you see that, that's not a very good positive. You can actually see light through this area. This one's a little bit darker and this one's a little bit lighter. What we'll demonstrate right now is the difference between these two films and this film right here. This is a very dense film, even with some half tones and detail in it. And this is a very block, easy to print design. However, the film positive is very light and poor quality. We'll put these on the same screen and expose them for the proper amount of time and show you what happens during washout. Here we have our screen that's been exposed with a very, very light film, a poor quality but a little darker film, and then a, a very opaque film. We'll show what happens during the washout process. Now, a really quick but kind of funny troubleshooting point is you do want to take your films off before you wash the screens out. We have had ad customers that under, don't understand that um, you need to do this, and that does cause a little bit of a problem during washout. So definitely want to make sure to take your films off the screen. If we zoom in here, you can actually see this screen is unexposed but fairly light. This screen is unexposed and a little bit lighter, and you can barely see this screen exposure right here because this film positive was so light. So let's get this soaked and start washing it out. As this image starts to develop under the water, you can see the opaque positive almost already starting to wash out. This one you can kind of see it's going to come loose, but this one is still very, very, very faint. We'll let it soak and then go to wash out. Remember, a proper exposure with a proper positive density, you should be able to have no problem using a pressure washer. What happens is if you try to wash out these two lighter areas of the screen, you have to use so much water, the emulsion starts to absorb all the water and then it actually starts to degrade off the screen. So you actually do what's called blowing out your image, which is not good, meaning you'll have to start all the way over again. You'll see this first image just drop out and then we'll start working on these other two images. Alright, that one's already exposed and washed out. Now let's try these other two. That one's starting to come out on the bottom, but we're going to have to work on it from both sides. Remember, if you're working on it from the back side, you're pushing against the emulsion because the emulsion is sitting on the outside of your screen. So it's a lot easier to blow a screen out if you're pushing against the back side of it. Well, we see this one starting to wash out here. The top one still is not. So let's switch to a more softer hose. Well, maybe we can scrub our fingers on it to kind of agitate some of that emulsion to get it moving away from the mesh. You can see this emulsion was partially exposed, so that's why it doesn't want to release from the mesh. Instead of falling off like this one did, it's slowly gripping and then just peeling off. This one up here, we're seeing it, but it's not doing anything. This one's almost washed out and I think our emulsion is going to hold on long enough for it to allow to wash out completely.
Wow, that worked. If you zoom in here, you can see these edges starting to swell up with water and starting to peel away from the mesh already. Now this is what your result would be if you're using a low-end inkjet printer or like a laser, laser printer with vellum or low-quality inkjet film. You can see how much more of a pain this was to wash out than this one using like a Black Max printer with AccuRip software. Super easy, pain in the butt. How much is your time worth? This is a lot harder to do, a lot more complications. We're lucky we even got it to wash out. Now let's still continue to try to wash this one out up here. Maybe let's try some pressure again. All right, that one's ruined. You see I'm already starting to blow out my image. Here's my film positive. It did wash out, but you see the edge of the area of the emulsion right here? It's already degrading and we blew out the image. So this one would not work. And that is what happens if you have to put too much water on your screen, use too much pressure to blow it out because your film positives are not dense enough. The obvious solution to this troubleshooting problem is opaque film positives with a good quality inkjet printer using a special dye based ink and a RIP software if you can get away with it. Also with that waterproof positive film that retains more of that ink. Lower quality printers might work but will take a lot longer and then sometimes they just don't work at all. Use dark positives and you'll be much better off.